Good evening, class. My name is Betsy. And my name is Flora. We are from Group 1. We will be presenting on Case Study Chapter 6, Traits and Skills of Leaders. Before we start answering the question, I would like to explain a bit on the background of the case study. As there has been an opening for general manager position in one of product division, Susan Thomas, the vice president for human resources at National Products, was asked by the president to either recommend one of the three internal candidates or to begin recruitment of external candidates which might be interested in being promoted to this position. The first question was, what are the dominant motives for each candidate? The first candidate is Charlie Adam. He is the production manager for the past eight years. He is known to be an easygoing person and really emphasizing the importance of family ties. He enjoys spending his weekend doing outdoors activities with his family and friends. This shows that Charlie can be categorized as an introvert, which is defined as a person that enjoys another company. At work, Charlie is known for his cooperation and his teamwork. He often gives advice to less experienced co-worker, which express his strong interpersonal skills, whereby he can collaborate well with others while caring and comforting people in need. However, Charlie often shows incompetence to handle conflict when he tries to resolve conflict quickly by finding the most acceptable compromise. This proves that he is not capable to handle stress and lack in critical thinking. For Charlie, it is important to be liked and appreciated by the people of the organization, which indicate his need for affiliation. He also tends to be reluctant to jeopardize his relations, which clearly suggests that he is not a risk taker. Second candidate is Bill Stewart. He is the manager of engineering department for the last three years. Although he was the best design engineer, he decided to further his career by getting into management. His ambition indicates that Bill is an achievement orientation person. Even though Bill is lack in experience in managing department, he took it as an opportunity and challenges, which suggests that Bill is an optimistic person and willing to learn new things. However, because of his introvert characteristic, whereby he preferred to be alone and dislike social function, indicate that he is lacking in interpersonal skill. Bill preferred to operate his department according to his own standard. He chose to work on difficult and interesting projects by himself rather than doing it in a team. This shows that Bill can be independent and has a high self-confidence with his own work. However, this drives his lack of delegation ability as it takes away his time from the management responsibility. The third candidate is Ray Johnson. He is the corporate marketing manager for the last five years. Because he came from a rough background, Ray tends to be tough and has worked hard to be where he at right now. He believed that to be successful is to achieve good performance even though it may not for your own sake. This shows that Ray emphasized on achievement orientation. Ray enjoys living in an expensive lifestyle. His materialistic trait resulted him owning multiple luxury items and approved himself as a playboy whereby he comfortably having affairs with his female co-workers. Clearly, Ray is a narcissistic prince that can be unprofessional at work by exercising sexual harassment at workplace. However, Ray is able to shield himself against any threats to his reputation, authority, and position. This indicates that he has high self-confidence whereby he has a sense of control in his position in the organization. 
he often took charge of the control over the operations in his department and his subordinates are obligated to check with him before making any decision. This indicates that Ray has strong power motivation. Second question is what are the implications of this threat for the success of each candidate is selected for the general manager position? For the first candidate, Charlie Adam was identified as an extrovert person that have a strong interpersonal skill and a high need for affiliation. This indicates that he is very easy to be approached as he can comfortably mingle with others while being compromised in the spirit of teamwork. Charlie can be more understanding of the situation faced by his subordinate as he spends more time with them. For someone that constantly in need of reward, such as appreciation, Charlie, however, is not a risk taker and he's lacking in handling stress and unable to achieve critical thinking. This might put him in a difficult position as he might get panicked easily and unable to think or make decisions that is outside of a box. On the contrary, the second candidate, Bill Stewart, is identified as an introvert that has a weak interpersonal skill and unable to organize his time well which drop by his lack of social life and work style of which he prefers to work alone, especially in challenging and interesting projects, which could cause him to be overconfident with his own ability. This will lead him to be uncomfortable to delegate work and his subordinate did not have any opportunity to prove themselves as if he did not trust his subordinate will perform well in completing the task. In addition to that, Bill is lack of experience in managing department because he is a loner. He may be unable to perform well within a work environment due to lack of understanding. However, he is a risk taker that able to think outside of the box in order to achieve higher objective, which could bring forward his department's goal. The third candidate, Ray Johnson, is an achievement orientation person and has a high power motivation of which he believed that all achievement is based on hard work even though it is not for one's own sake. All his subordinates' works must go through him and done according to his standard which indicate he acknowledged all the decision making in his department by checking the progresses of his subordinates' work. Led by his high self-confidence to defend himself against threat, Ray was able to handle stressful situations and making critical decisions. However, Ray has a few unprofessional threats of which he identified as an arrogant person that fancy himself must and think he is better than others while being materialistic with his luxury belonging, which can be easily suspected to practice bribery. On top of that, he seamlessly exercising sexual harassment and having a fail with his female co-workers. This will cause people to be uncomfortable to work with him and eventually decrease the work performance. The last question required us to give opinion whether Susan should recommend one of these candidates for the position or look for external candidate. We think Susan should recruit external candidate. Each internal candidate has their own pros and cons. However, the opening position of general manager requires someone that interconnected with a set of skills in order to be able to contribute greatly to their organization. 
a general manager should practice a visionary leadership whereby he must be able to oversee the future opportunities of the organizations and to come up with a strong strategy and development planning. He must possess a negotiations and conflict management skills in order to prepare himself to counteract with any possible future threats. Last but not least, a general manager should exercise teamwork and interpersonal skills as his positions enable him to meet with new circles of society of which he must build a strong professional relationship with. That's all from us. Thank you.